Good kill, good kill. Hey, good kill. Hey guys, today we're going to be having a look at the new Winwing Orion Stick and Throttle and the new F18 control panels. Uh, Winwing was kind enough to send these out to me and I've waited now about a month to do the review. I didn't want to do it right as soon as I got it because I wanted to use it and uh, see what it felt like, see how it performed, how sturdy it was and all that good stuff. So after about a month of use by me every day, multiple hours a day at a time, I'm happy to say that the Orion stick and throttle system has held up pretty decently. Well in fact, uh, I've had no issues to be honest. The stick and throttle are designed to be placed on your desk with some suction cups and I've tested them to see how good they were and I've had no issues with them, they seem super strong and they don't move on my desk. But I will say that you should keep in mind the material of your desk will affect how well these suction cups work, um, but I didn't have any issues myself. Now based on these images that you, you're seeing on the screen right now, you've noticed that I didn't actually set mine up on my desk. I was able to use my Fox mounts. Uh, which actually did work pretty well. Initially, I talked to Winwing and they said we don't know about Fox mounts, but Monster Tech for sure works. But, you know, I was like, all right, well, I don't have Monster Tech. So I tried Fox mounts and very surprisingly, it worked. They, they attached on there just fine. I didn't have any issues getting everything mounted and they're super stable. So I, if you have Monster Tech or Fox mounts, I can tell you that they, they does mount onto those. I haven't found many issues to pick on when it comes to the throttle but there is one thing i really appreciate which is the extra slider we get uh, if you're into dcs you know you can never have too many axes and i use one of the sliders for zooming in and out that's what you see in the videos and the other one i use for whatever the specific aircraft may need so for example i use the second slider as the nozzle controls for the harrier and so here we are in the Harrier and obviously a point of concern is the amount of lag in between pushing the slider forward on what you see on screen, which I don't see any. Uh, very smooth, so I'm very happy with that. And here we are with the extra slider. Uh, as you can see, it helps to control the nozzles. So as I said, it's always, always nice to have as many sliders and axes as you can in DCS. You'll always find a function for them. The throttle also offers many knobs and turn dials which you can use to bind your helmet, mounted sight, your radios, all that kind of stuff. Uh, the lighting on these things is pretty awesome and it can be synced with your DCS in-game, which is also pretty cool. And I think the one thing that people are most interested in when it comes to throttles and sticks is durability. How long will this thing last me before I have to cough up more money for another one? Well, I'm happy to say that this stick and throttle seems to be pretty durable, at least with my experience so far. Again, after one month of use, I've noticed no issues with it and the metal design makes me feel like I have something that can take some sort of punishment. That also goes for the knobs and switches. Uh, I don't feel like they feel fake. The plastic they're pretty decent quality um, they don't seem like they're plastic they feel almost metal like I'm pretty sure they are metal uh, maybe some sort of alloy of some kind they and they're pretty decent quality so I haven't had any issues with the, the build of these things I think the, the design quality and durability is pretty good also keep in mind here the TDC slew control has what I can best describe as an Xbox style joystick which makes it super simple to control and get accurate movements for your TDC. Let's take a minute to talk about the throttle itself. I really like the feeling of it and how it slides. It's smooth and it has detents for idle and afterburner. Uh, they're very subtle detents. You don't need to lift it or anything like that. You just apply a little bit more pressure. Uh, now where it gets interesting is they have these external wires which immediately got my attention. I was worried about how much punishment they could take uh, especially since they get squished a little when you go into full afterburner. I messaged Wing Wing about it and they said that they're rated for many hundreds of thousands of movements which is good news. On the screen here you can see a picture of the wiring so you can see exactly what the structure is. Now the reason they did this was because in the future they plan on doing an F-16 throttle head and possibly a helicopter collective that's in the future if they you know decide to come up with that kind of stuff but 
it's designed like that so you can interchange the heads. So the Orion system will actually allow you to switch the throttle heads in the future for something else of your choice. So the next thing we're gonna have a look at here is the F-18 control panels. As many of you can already see, the controls are not exact replicas of the control panels of the F-18 in terms of knobs and switches. Instead, they're intended to be the most common or most useful buttons and knobs that you're gonna need. And keep in mind here that the selective jettison and the actual jettison buttons are on different panels. So if that's an important feature for you, you'll have to buy both of these panels to get that functionality. Overall, I like the build of the control panels. I found that they adapt pretty well across all aircraft in DCS. And I think it's a welcome addition to having to use the keyboard binds for everything or your HOTAS buttons not necessarily meant for those specific functions. Shifting over now to look at the Orion stick. This stick is not a huge deviation away from the last stick that Win Wing put out, um, which I reviewed by the way. So if you want an in-depth look at it, look at it, look at that video, I'll link it below. Um, however, this stick does feature some minor improvements. Uh, one being very obvious is the pre-drilled holes for the mounts that we've already talked about. Um, also, this button, uh, which was notorious for popping off in the older models, not an issue I ever experienced, but it was reported by other people. Um, I've tried pulling that off this time, and it's pretty stable, and even trying to yank it off, I wasn't able to do so. Um, the other improvement is that this same button, which in the old version was a single click, is now a four position button and has a depress functionality as well. Also, I think it's worth noting that everything you buy from Winwing, the throttle, the stick, all that stuff, it's supported by this app called the Sim App Pro. And basically what it does, it allows you to diagnose any issues that you may be having with your stick or throttle. Um, sometimes maybe the Sim is unresponsive and you're not sure if the Sim is the problem or the th stick and throttle. This will allow you to check that. And through the Sim App Pro, you can control the lighting and some of the button functionalities on the stick and throttle. So definitely download sim app pro if you end up getting the win wing stick and throttle it is a big help um, i use it almost every day so definitely check this out so in conclusion i just want to give you my overall thoughts about the win wing stick and throttle um, quite honestly i think win wing has come a long way especially with their stick which in the past was i think the um, one thing that needed the most improvement uh, their throttles have always been pretty good uh, even the uh, super libra I, I very much enjoyed that throttle um, now with the Orion throttle and the control panel, the F-18 control panels, I mean, it's pretty good stuff. Um, I'm pretty happy with what I have here. Big thank you to Winwing for sending that over to me. Um, looking forward to all the stuff that Winwing wants to do in the future, the F-16 throttle, possibly um, a helicopter collective, that kind of stuff. It could be super cool. All right, so that's going to be it for me today, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.